Yo, what is going on YouTube? Technically T bringing you another case review for the 11 Pro Max and we got a special one here, man. You see the title? Yes, we're talking about the dude Lou, unbox therapy, Lou later, whatever you know him as. This is his later case. Now, before the whole dilemma of everybody breaking down why his videos are removed and blah, blah, blah. I'm going to tell you what, man. As soon as I saw this case was available, I bought one. He didn't send me this. He doesn't know. Well, I'm not saying he doesn't know who I am. Because after I made that video, he did like and retweet it and follow me and everything, which I thought was pretty dope, man. Because I gave my opinions on the later case and what I felt about it. And if you didn't miss that video, I will make sure to link it above. Definitely go check it out. I think it's a good, pretty good listen. But, no, he didn't send this to me or anything like this, man. I purchased with my own money. Yes, I went out and spent 45 bucks on this case because I wanted to see what it was about. I wanted to see what the whole hype was about it, man. So, here it is. Later case. We have it for the 11 Pro Max. I had to get it for the 11 Pro Max, man. So, basically, this is what you get when it comes to the packaging. You get inside. You get a microfiber cloth. Me, personally, I can't never have enough of these, man. If it's not wiping my screen off... It's wiping my eyeglasses off. So wherever I'm wiping this off with, I'm going to use it. You know what I mean? So nice little addition. And on the inside, you do get the later case with nothing else in here. So keeping the packing very plain, very minimalistic, definitely works in this case. So here it is, man. Later case for the 11 Pro Max. So let's go ahead and go through it. Now, it's funny, man, because I actually just reviewed the Pataka case for the 11 Pro Max literally before this video. So I do... Well, I do plan on doing a comparison of the two. No, I'm not going to do it in this video. We're going to strictly talk about the later case. So, taking a look around it, man. On the top, you got your outside, your top outside wig. You got your scalp pushback. It's going to be wide open. On the right side of it, you have a wide open power button. And on the bottom, of course, your bottom is wide open. Left side, your volume. All your buttons and everything is going to be wide open. This case is very minimalistic. It's for my people who don't really care to have a case on it, but you want just a little bit of bump or scratch protection. This case is for you, man. Flipping over on the inside, you don't get any branding or anything. It would have been cool to see the later case emblem down here. Almost would have almost been cool to see a later case emblem back here, but I know how people feel about things on their cases. Prints, words, pictures, I get it. You know, I mean, I understand why people don't do it. So, there it is, man. In on the camera, you do have that same protective ring that goes around it to protect their camera, so that's pretty good to see. So let's go ahead and grab the 11 Pro Max, pop the case on, and my girlfriend is texting me, so let me go ahead and turn that off real fast. <laughs> All right. Boom. All right, now, she's done. She 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 stopped bothering me when I'm in the, in the middle of doing this review, but let's go ahead and get to it, man. This is the later case, so let's go ahead and take a look around it. On that top side, your top is completely wide open, completely exposed so if you're a little paranoid about getting scratches you might want to be careful when it comes to this case on that power button side the power button of course is wide open flipping over to the bottom your bottom's wide open and your volume up down is wide open so we don't have to say much about that like i said this case is not meant to be dropped man this case is for people who work in the office setting who work at home who doesn't doesn't have kids you don't need to be so protective that's who this case is probably for let's go ahead and keep it moving man taking a look at the lay on tail protection we don't got to talk about it because it doesn't have a lay on the table protection. Not at all. So please be be careful. If you drop this thing, man, you could suffer some consequences when you pick it up. And you might be taking your case to the Apple store to go ahead and make an Apple, Apple Care claim. So just be aware, man, this is what you're getting when we're talking about this case. Very minimalistic. Now, let's go ahead and move to the fit of this case because here is where... I'm a little disappointed. Now, I know Lou said he wanted people to be able to remove the case pretty easy. But in my opinion, uh, I mean, the case, you know what? The case doesn't come off that easy. It actually doesn't come off as easy as I thought it did. But the case does remove pretty easy. And it's actually not bad in this case. Because like I said, I reviewed, and let me grab it over here, man, the Pataka Mad case. This is a little bit more aggravating to get off. And I can see people getting frustrated with trying to get this off. This case has the same fit, even when you're just hitting it on the side. Even though it has the same fit, it doesn't come off a little too easy. So, I can appreciate him wanting this to come off easy because it does. It gives you that soft, faint click to let you know that it's on, but it, it's not a pain in the you-know-what to take off. And that's pretty, pretty good because tons of people hate trying to take off cases when they don't come off smoothly. So, nice shot, nice job to Lou on that one, man. You can get this one off way easier 
then you can get the actual Pataka case off. Absolutely much easier, man. So that's basically it when it comes to the fit. Other than that, the fit is good. When it's on the phone, it doesn't move around. It seems pretty stop, solid in there. So I won't have to take anything off for the fit, man. I would like it to fit a little bit better, but I get why he wanted to remove it easier. I get it 100%. So, definitely nice fit when it comes to this case, man. How does it fit in your hand? It actually feels very good. In my opinion, to, to be a completely a buck, I want to say the Pataka is a little slipperier than this. I want to say this has a little bit more grip. I feel like you can feel the fibers a little bit more, and I, it feels better. I, I think it feels better. It's a little bit more grippy, and of course, that's what I like. You need grip when it comes to these cases. You're going to need a little bit of grip, so it is what it is. I think it does feel a little bit more grippy, so that's a big plus in my opinion. And um, taking a look at the camera, one thing about this camera, yes, it does have that protective ring going around it. So when you put it down, you don't really have to worry about your camera damaging because this is such a thin case. But them giving you that ring going around it just elevates that you know protection material up just a little bit so you don't have to worry about damaging those cameras. Dropping down on wireless charging, it works just fine with wireless charging, man. So here it is later case from unbox therapy for the 11 pro max yes they run 45 bucks now yes that is a little bit expensive for these air made cases to me that's a little bit high but hey man if you want to support go ahead and rock out with it in my opinion i think the prices should be down about 20 bucks that's just my raw opinion it is pretty expensive for what you're getting if you were talking about price point you could really get some very good prices on cases out there that's a lot more protected than these but that's not what it's made for. So I can't fault it for that. This case is made for minimalists who want something on their phones that still shows off the shape of their phone, but doesn't take away from the beauty of the phone. So that's why I can really appreciate these thin cases, man. So overall, pretty solid case, man. I see why he wanted it to remove easy. It removed easy, but it doesn't sacrifice um, any fit problems. Because you know if it did, I was going to call it out, man. But it doesn't sacrifice any fit problems. So I can really really appreciate this case man so here it is later case for the 11 pro max my final thoughts overall a very nice thin case just about 15 or 20 bucks overpriced but i get the motive for it i get the motivation behind it would i use it i will man i'm thinking about using it as my daily case that's saying a lot just because i want to see how i do with a minimalistic case like this i'm always using super protective cases but i really don't need cases like that every day I want to go with something a little bit more thin, and uh, I might give these thin cases a try and let you know how I like it, man. I might report back. But, yo, Teddy T, I'm about to get up out of here. Definitely, definitely hit that like button, man. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about the case. Do you have it? What device do you have it for? And let me know the things about it that you like about the case. Let's get some conversation started down below, man. Make sure you hit that sub button if you rock with your boy. But until next time, later.